Game Show. Uh, I want to welcome the one, the only, Craig Robinson. Yes. What is up, brother? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? So, some people may uh, may know you from the Red Hot Chili Peppers video, Bump the Hump. Oh man. Hump bump. Hey, hey, yeah. hey. I just turned my headphones off. <laughs> yeah. Hump the Bump. Now, do you know the Red Hot Chili Peppers, man? You down with those guys? You party with those dudes? I wish. I uh, no, I just did the video. You know, Chris Rock brought brought me on. He directed that video. So you didn't even like hang out with the dudes at all or anything? No, no. Craig, man, I want, I want One thing some... I found out was Flea could play the hell out of a trumpet. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's, he's a classically trained trumpet player. I didn't player. know that. He's a multi instrumentalist. Yeah. I just right. forgot. I know that you're uh, you know you're basically like a professional musician gone uh, comedian. Something like that, yeah. You can say something like that. I'm a uh, yeah, frustrated musician. I bring it all out in the comedy (laughs) and acting and wherever. Yeah, you got you got the uh, the whole band with you this time out. Uh, They're coming out this Saturday. And how does that work, man? Like like who's in your band? These just like dudes you know from whenever. My brother plays keys uh, with me, and then uh, and then these other guys who become my brothers. You know, um, this guy Dave is on the guitar, and he know him from Chicago, and Ace is on drums, and know him from Chicago, and Ethan is on bass. And I don't know him from Chicago, but he is from Chicago. Yeah. But, like, I would see him playing around with Babyface and stuff, and it was like, yo, can you come do this gig? So, uh, yeah, we've been a pretty close-knit group. I don't have my horns this weekend, though. It's uh, it's No Name here with Craig Robinson. A lot of people know you from The Office is Daryl. Actually, Matt has the biggest man crush on you, Daryl. Yeah, I think he's... Uh, it's yes, disturbing. I've seen he's, everything he's, he's, he's ever done. He's me in the lobby. He, co- he comes in, he's like, dude, he's like... He's like, I, I'm smelling, I'm smelling Craig out there. I, I think he might get high. I, I wonder if he get high with me. I swear, I swear to God, he's like, and I'm like, I'm like, what are you talking about, Matt? He's like, dude, how cool would it be if I got high with Craig Robinson? I'm like, if he burns, I'm sure he will, dude. It's kind of like, I mean, it's a little early, but wake and baking isn't like against wake the Wake and bake. You know? Yeah. Do you partake there, Craig? Love to. Love to? Yeah. Is, is that one of the uh, the highlights of coming to the Bay Area? I just wonder, you know, being from Chicago and stuff. I mean, no, no some... I, I live in L.A. Yeah, okay. Well, I I'm live saying in L.A. Nor- so... Northern California. Isn't but that, that, but what that Bay Area for? stuff is uh, uh, fantastic, and it's so easy to get. My, I think if you live in California right now, it's a really good time. To be a stoner. Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's <laughs> all, everybody I meet has a dispensary. It's hysterical. <laughs> it is crazy. That's what they're like. You're killing my dispensary. I'm surprised that uh, I'm surprised that more like celebrities and stuff don't have their own dispensaries. You know, might be like a little business proposal man, we can get that, into. That Craig. would be a great idea. You actually. know, you could a do celebrity like celebrity dispensary. That's what I'm talking about, or just you know, like a like a comedy club slash dispensary. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Guaranteed laughs. <laughs> People are laughing like a half hour after you tell the joke. They're like, that was so funny, man. Oh, God. Love it. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's a great idea. So where's the joint? Let's go. Let's, Let's do this. Go. Let's blaze this up, man. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, I'm a, I might do an uh, interview with High Times, actually. Yeah? How about that? So you're like a big-ass stoner, dude, if High Times is ringing on your phone. The, uh, well, she, I met the, the editor the other day, and she was like, she was just talking about doing an interview. That's got to be like the coolest thing, I think, like to, you know, to actually have some success uh, in, in life is like all of a sudden like things that you never thought would happen. Like, you know, maybe be in a Chili Peppers video or all of a sudden like, you know, have, have a centerfold in High Times with you next to the butt of the month. Or, or the freaking, like, to be in Shrek. Yeah, you know, dude. I'm, I'm in, I play a female ogre named Cookie in Shrek. How did that all come about, dude? It, they, I got my manager calls that they want you to be in Shrek. I said, "That's huge." Okay, yeah, this uh, it's been pretty amazing. This that ride just like a, a couple weeks ago, I found myself in a press conference with Eddie Murphy and Mike Myers and Cameron Diaz and Antonio Banderas. It was like what. Yeah, and me and John Hamm and sitting there looking like, wow. Okay, so yeah, so it's like these opportunities and things keep popping up, and you know, just rise to the challenge. It's fair. Look at Smoke it. to the challenge. Smoke to the challenge, man. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I know the, the weird thing though is that you're gonna do Shrek, and then what's gonna happen for the rest of your life? All these little kids are gonna be like, hey, you're that female ogre for the rest of your life, no matter I, what you do. I wonder, like, how would they know? They do. Yeah, yeah. I, I got, I got, a, I got a three and a uh, five year old at home doing that. That like everything's audio to them. It's crazy. They recognize uh, any sound on, on the planet. They're like, yeah. Dad, you had sex with Mom last night. Why? Because I heard you crying in the fetal <laughs> position on the floor. Oh God, I can't believe it happened. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, Congratulations, Craig, uh, man. I know it was, it was a big thing. Believe me. <laughs> Thanks for checking in with the No Name Show. Uh, he's at Cobb's all weekend. He got the full band on Saturday, correct? Saturday night, yeah. And then you know, other than that, it'll be me and my keyboard. It's still, it's still a, a hot show. It's just Saturday turns into the comedy dance party. That's yeah. All. And you're kind of a man of mystery, dude. Uh, you know, people here were saying they were doing research on you. No social networking, man. 
Exactly. Why is that? It, it could happen. It could happen. No Twitter, no Facebook, no I, MySpace. I, I think I'm. A, I got a Facebook. Uh, I think I'm gonna get a. Uh, you got like a, you got, you got a, a fan, you got like a fan site on Facebook, but it's not really like. No, actually, I have a page too. Where are you hiding it? Yeah, where are you hiding it? Hide, it's, it's, <laughs> it's always I, my stuff is always hard to find for whatever reason, but uh, yeah, I like I like that man of mystery kind of thing. But I think I'm gonna get a Twitter pretty soon. So yeah, look for me on Twitter. <laughs> One of these days. When it's done, I'll be there some at some point. At some point, yeah. Right, right on crack. Hey, thanks. For people need to know, man. I appreciate they, they the do. fans. You, you know, know. And, and, you know, you don't want to. Yeah, people are like you should get a Twitter. It's like nobody care what I think, but I guess some people do want to check it out. So Dude, once you get in the high times, uh, and, and you know, with the butt of the month, everyone's gonna care. Believe me. Open up that dispensary. <laughs> you are pitching that hard. I know. I That's am. what she said. I'm all excited. Okay. All right, Craig, thanks for uh, checking yeah, in, man. man. Thank At you. Cobbs all weekend, everybody. Check him out, Craig Robinson. Live on 5.